Okay, so let us look at uh, a couple of true or false problem. And uh, if it's false, um, maybe we can explain or show one counter example. Okay, so look at part A. Given two series, uh, AN um, converges and BN diverges. And then the sum of those two series um, must diverge. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be a, a true statement. Why? Because uh, you can think of if a series AN um, converges, then the sum must exist, right? So, and BN diverges, that means the sum does not exist. You can think about it, so you are adding some um, constant to and um, either it's keep booming or keep shrinking a uh, series, you know, because uh, um, B, uh, BN is um, diverging. In other words, you know, the summation of this BN, it's actually it's keep changing, okay? It will never um, converge. So the sum of those two actually, it's going to be still diverge, okay? So that, that's the first one. Now look at the second one. You know, given two series, um, AN and BN diverges, the both diverges, and then uh, the sum of uh, those two series must diverge. Well, uh, it turns out that this statement is false. Okay. Why it is false? Well, uh, very simple. Uh, example here, you know, suppose my series a n is a sum, is a summation of n, okay, and we know that, it's, let's see, it definitely diverges, while for the series b n, well, can we do this, right, so we can see that both A N and B N the diverges, but do you agree that the summation of A N plus B N it's summation of N minus N? Actually, it's summation of zero, which is zero. So it turns out the sum of those two diverges series converge. Okay, so this is a false statement. All right. Um, part C. Given two series A and B n with uh, A n is less than B n for all the n, and if B n converges, then A n must converge. Okay. So it turns out, uh, you know, this uh, this kind of looks like uh, the uh, direct comparison test. Okay. But um, I need to remind you one thing is um, to use the direct comparison test. You have to make sure that both A N and B N they are non-active. Okay, they are non-active. So it turns out that this is a false statement. Okay, why is that? Well, for example, um, if our A N is a series negative N, okay, and if I don't know. My BN is let's see, let's set it as a geometric series. Okay, so you can see that uh, BN is greater than AN all the time, right? Because this AN is negative. Okay, this AN is negative, and uh, you know this BN converges cannot show that this AN converges. Okay, so uh, when you use the direct comparison test. You have to make sure that both a n and b n are greater or equal than zero for all the n. Okay, if not, the direct comparison test actually fails. Okay. All right. So next part D. If an alternating series satisfy all three conditions, right, for uh, alternating series test, then the alternating series converges absolutely. Well. Uh, the alternating series test, um, you know, you have to satisfy three conditions. Uh, that is, um, 
you know, the giving and alternating series, something like this, then you have to make sure that your un, right, must be greater or equal than zero to your un is now increasing, right? And then you also have to make sure that limit of un equals zero. Okay, so if you satisfy those three conditions, then the alternate the alternating series test said that the alternating series it converges. Okay, but we don't know whether it converges absolutely or conditionally. Okay, so you have to check um, the extra to see. Uh, if it converges absolutely. So part D, it's still a false statement, okay. And then um, part E, you know, if a series converges conditionally, then it converges absolutely. Well, you know, obviously this is gonna be a false statement, why? Because uh, um, it, if a series is converges conditionally, then it cannot be converges uh, absolutely. Okay, so in other words, conditionally uh, and absolutely, those two, uh, if you do an intersection, those two have no intersection. Okay, so that means it must be one or the other. It cannot be both. So this is a false statement. And part F. Given a power series, uh, that this power series converges, you know, at x equals negative three, and then um, the series converges at x equals two. It turns out that um, part f is a true statement because based on the convergence theorem of the power series in this format. You know, if it converges uh, um, at x equals negative three, then this series converges uh, when x is less than the absolute value of this number. Okay. So in other words, if this power series, it converges at negative three, then any number between negative three to three, uh, you know, it also converges, okay? That's based on the, converge, uh, the power series convergence zero, okay? So we know that two, definitely belongs to this uh, interval from negative three to three. So it's a true statement, okay? Now, last one, uh, series uh, n to infinity one over long two n um, diverges, okay. Um, we can see that this, first of all, is a geometric series, okay? It's a geometric series. And, uh, you know, the common ratio is 1 over ln 2, okay. So, ln 2, first of all, ln 2 less than ln e, which is 1, okay. So, that means... 1 over ln of 2 actually is greater than 1, okay. So based on the property of the geometric series, since the common ratio is greater than 1, so we can get a conclusion that my geometric series diverges, okay. So it turns out uh, uh, part G uh, is a true statement, okay. So in this uh, short video, we actually discussed the seven uh, true or false uh, statement problem and then um, it tells you um, about your understanding um, about the, the series. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.